Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I restart a task if it fails? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is using a continuation task to handle exceptions, but they're facing a challenge. When a task fails, they want to restart it, but the original task is still running, making it difficult to find and replace it in their task array. In their code, they attempt to find the failed task in an array of existing tasks. However, since the task passed to the exception handler is different from the original, it can't be found, preventing a proper restart. So how can our viewer effectively restart their task? Let's explore potential solutions and best practices to tackle this common issue in task management. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To address the issue of restarting a failed task, we need to understand how tasks are managed in C-sharp. In our example, we are using an array to keep track of multiple tasks. The problem arises when we try to find the failed task in the array. Since the task passed to the handle exception method is a different instance, it cannot be found in the existing tasks array. To properly restart the task, we need to check the status of each task in the array. If a task has failed, we can create a new task at the same index in the array. Here's how we can modify the handle exception method. We will loop through the tasks array, check for the faulted task, and restart it accordingly. By implementing this change, we ensure that the original task can be found and restarted correctly, allowing our application to handle failures more effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the issue of restarting a task if it fails, make sure to store the original task instead of the continuation task. This way, you can properly handle exceptions. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.